Let us pray. Dear Lord, how wonderful are the works of your hands. As we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences, let us not forget the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. For the Southern University Law Center, Chancellor Pierre, his leadership team, other administration, staff, and faculty, which have given these students a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as they take this next step into the world. For their families who have cheered them on to the finish line and stood by their sides through the many bumps in the road. And on this day especially, we thank you for the friends that they have found among their classmates, for all the experiences that will be remembered in years to come, for the hardships and trials they have endured together side by side, and for your love, which has been made evident through the relationships they will carry with them beyond these walls. May your blessing be upon this graduation ceremony and upon all its participants. In your name we pray, amen. Greetings to the Southern University Law Center graduating class of fall 2020. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students of the Southern University system, I join Chancellor Pierre and the leadership team in extending my sincerest and warmest congratulations to each of you. I applaud your strength and dedication in completing your degree requirements, particularly in the face of a global pandemic. You did not allow unprecedented challenges to stop you, and I'm confident that you will not allow any future challenges to deter you from making a great difference in our society. As you are aware, commencement is not an ending, but rather it's a beginning, the beginning of a lifelong journey of self-discovery. You have chosen a noble profession, one that advocates for and when the time calls for it, reforms our justice system. You are the voice of the people. So keep the people's best interests and justice at the forefront of everything that you do. And as you uh, advance the people's work, never stop learning. Take advantage of every occasion to further your educational journey, both formally and informally, as you know, uh, educational profoundly determines the course of not only your lives, but also the lives of those you serve. I also would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge those individuals who have nurtured, advised, guided, and shared their knowledge and experiences with you as you completed your studies. The Distinguished Law Center faculty, dedicated staff, as well as your family and friends, Thank you for joining in this virtual acknowledgement. And as I close, I think it's important to remind you as graduates to never forget your alma mater, Southern University Law Center. Our institutions are always made stronger by the support of their alumni. Again, congratulations and best wishes to all of you. Good morning. I am John K. Pierre, Chancellor of the Southern University Law Center. On behalf of the faculty, staff, administration, and students of the Southern University Law Center, I want to welcome you to our Fall 2020 Virtual Commencement Exercise. We are here to celebrate the accomplishments of great young professionals who have been very resilient and who have overcome so many obstacles. Despite the fact that COVID-19 was a big problem and interrupted our ability to deliver instruction, these students hung in there and showed us the grit and determination that will make them great professionals as they go out into the world as a graduate of a law center that is the leading law school for access and opportunity in this country. They will take with them the lessons learned in classrooms, the lessons they have learned from clinics and other experiential learning situations and opportunities. And they will take with them the vision and the mission of the Southern University Law Center, which is that they will be transformational agents in the world, that they will be great lawyers who advocate for people who sometimes don't have resources, they will become great corporate leaders. They will become judges. They will become legislators. And they will become trailblazers. 
So I am so proud to say to you that this group of young professionals is ready to take on the task in front of them. We appreciate all the efforts of parents, family members, faculty, friends, and mentors to help them reach this incredible milestone. We want to implore our graduates to go out into the world and to spread the good news of Southern University Law Center and show everyone how they can be change agents and be social activists and be leaders. And we know that whatever they do, they will always be a very, very important part of the legacy of the Southern University Law Center. Take care, stay safe, and be well. Good morning. I'm Mitchell Connor, your SBA Evening Division President. On this monumentous day for you, for your family, for your friends, I want to congratulate you on becoming a graduate of the Southern University Law Center. Yes, I know that it has not been easy. Your path has been plagued with everything from hurricanes to a pandemic. But through it all, you stood tall, you stayed the course, and you have finished. Therefore, we celebrate you on this day. Good luck on your endeavors. We look forward to hearing great things from you. We look forward to seeing you excel and be the person that you were constructed to be here at the Southern University Law Center. As your Even Division president, I thank you for being a student with me. I thank you for your professionalism. I thank you for your excellence in academics. Congratulations to you. Enjoy your day, and this is all about you. Hello, Southern University Law Center class of 2020. I wish I could be there in person with you to celebrate this milestone in a place that I consider my home, Southern University Law Center. But as they say, home is where the heart is, and I'm deeply honored to be here with you today in this format and to be one of the first to welcome you to the legal profession. Thank you, Chancellor Pierre, Chancellor President Dr. Belton, the Board of Supervisors, the faculty, the alumni, and a special hello to some of my former professors, Chancellor Pierre, Chancellor Jones, Professor Kuhn, and hello to my, hello to my classmate, Professor White. Your support continues to make this one of the finest legal institutions in our country. And I wanna say a hello a welcome and congratulations to the family and friends of our graduates. As new law school graduates, you made it. The classes, the research, the citations, the moot court arguments, the law review articles, the registration, the financial aid, and a pivot to a virtual environment. Take all of this in, take a moment. Congratulations, because you are now graduates of Southern University Law Center. Graduates, you enter a world facing significant challenges. The global pandemic has exposed the health and economic inequities in our communities, particularly those of color. Tragic injustices and violence against African Americans feel ever looming. And over the past four years, let alone weeks, American democracy has been under sustained attack by foreign and domestic actors, from the erosion of ethics to the weakening of our governing institutions. This is the environment that you are entering as legal professionals. But this is not the first time that we've encountered great challenges, and it won't be the last. Because with these great challenges come great opportunities. And this country is starving for talented new lawyers such as yourselves, who will use the gifts that you've developed and honed over the last three years to address these issues. Now, I'm not going to go on and on about career and professional advice because you're gonna receive a lot of that career advice if you have not from your law professors and your mentors, which I'm sure that your professors are mentors. And if not, remember the relationships don't end when you leave the law center. You're gonna receive advice from your classmates and co-counsels and opposing counsels and judges, and they will tell you speaking from their experience what you would need to do or will need to do to improve your skills. But now it's my turn. And I wanna share three tips or tools for success in the practice of law, or maybe they can apply to your life. One, seriousness of purpose. 
for anyone that had the opportunity to be at the law center and to take a class with Vice Chancellor Washington Marshall, he routinely quoted this phrase throughout our family law course. And I struggled to understand it then, and even the words today bring pause. So let me rephrase it. Be intentional. Take action. The practice of law, or what I believe is the successful practice of law, is to be deliberate. Or let's use those words that you've lived with for the past three years, and that's going to follow you throughout your career. Be knowing and willful. Build upon what draws you in. What do you connect with? What courses drew you in? What professors, what leader in your communities, what internships or externships or positions that you ever held resonated with you? Anything that you've ever accomplished was the result of taking action. You are here today because you took action. You have a choice. You can be a victim to circumstance or an active participant in your life. And I want to share this quote with you. It's a quote from Dr. Samuel Du Bois Cook, who is the president emeritus of Dillard University, my undergraduate school, is a professor at Southern University also, and he was the first African-American to integrate the sociology department of Duke University. And he was asked by students, what does it take for me to be successful? And this is what he said, have a vision of excellence, a dream of success, and work like hell. Be intentional. But number two, you have to trust yourself. Your experience as a law student has not only equipped you with legal training necessary to succeed at the highest levels, but it has also instilled in you a grit and determination needed to be successful in a profession that oftentimes can be snobbish and obsessed with prestige and rankings or working for a white shoe firm. Having the so-called right pedigree is a code for quantifying an individual's legal abilities. Unfortunately, Elitism exists in the practice of law, but never question your abilities. You have everything you need to succeed in the person you are. But that's not to say we don't want to seek the advice of others, because they're going to tell you those other things you need to know about the actual practice of law, about networking and business development. Listen, learn, grow. Take what's relevant to you and use it. But note that there is more than one way to do almost anything in life and more than one way to practice law. No one follows the exact same path, and you will recognize that much more quickly by knowing who you are as a person. Because people who eventually find success start by trying things, lots of things. They succeed at some, and they fail at others. But along the way, you're going to learn to seize and at times create your own opportunities to advance yourselves. The greatest success to date in my career as the first African-American commissioner with the Federal Election Commission, and now the first African-American chair of this agency, is the direct result of my first failure in the practice of law. And number three, give something back. You came to this law center because you believed it can transform your lives, and it has. Now it's time to use this transformation to affect a positive change in your community. Whatever path, the practice of law, or in life that you choose, Give something back to your state or to your community. And whatever your political leaning, I need you to act. Be involved in your government. Participate in the needed discussion as to where we are, where we want to be, and what we, how we want to get there as a country. This law center opened its doors more than 70 years ago with the mission of providing access to a diverse and underrepresented community and equipping them with the tools to practice law. But not only this, but to be leaders in our society. Starting with that first graduating class in 1950, thousands of graduates have spread across this country, leading the fight for equal rights in their communities and ensuring the vitality of our domestic institutions. Think of all those classes, all those graduates sitting in the same place that you are sitting now. They were good times and bad times, times of exponential hope and times of uncertainty such as now. Through all of it, As graduates of this law center, you are called to serve and lead. As I close, I believe that the practice of law is the most honorable profession. And for those that may not be in this practice, I say I'm sorry, but we are the fighters of justice, the defenders of the constitution, the policy makers, counselors, teachers, public servants, protectors of those who are powerless, problem solvers, and change agents. Lawyers are the voice of hope for those who have lost hope. To the class of 2020, 
you have been called to do this very thing. And I look forward to following your achievements. Congratulations and Godspeed. Thank you. Kevin Barnes. Warren Bates. Sabria Chapman. Desiree Cotton. Mika Forstall. Abigail Foster. Precious Jackson. Derek Johnson. Terrence Lockett. Marie Madrill. Mikhail Marish. Stephanie Nelson. Sarah Pennington. Tracy Spencer. Ryan Thibodeau. Jabril Tony. Dominique Wally. Jory White. On behalf of the Student Bar Association, I, Bakari Garvey, and the entire student body would like to congratulate the fall class of 2020 for a great job. You've done so great this year, and you will continue to do great things. May God keep you safe and healthy. Take care. Good afternoon. We're about to swear you all in with the alumni pledge. So after I state my name, please state yours. Now raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Cynthia Reed, an alumnus of Southern University Law Center, do hereby pledge allegiance to Southern University Law Center. I promise to remain loyal, faithful, and steadfast in support of his program, uplift of his principles, maintenance of his traditions, and defense of his honor. I further promise to always stand ready to contribute my time, my efforts, my financial support, again, my financial support and service toward the advancement of Southern University Law Center, my beloved alma mater. So help me God. Let us pray. Lord, we again thank you for this ceremony and ask that each graduate leave with a renewed commitment to integrity and justice, that each one of them will pursue the goals they have with vigor and strength. And now may your blessing follow them all as they find new journeys to travel. May they walk safely along the pathways of their dreams. May your gentle hand guide the decisions they will make and the passions they will follow. May their hearts and lives always reflect your love and truth and may hope be a light within them that they carry into each new day. And will you continue to bless the Southern University Law Center in its mission and all its endeavors. In your name we pray, amen. <laughs>